Hi guys and thanks for joining me. What I'm going to be doing is actually basically repairing a pair of my black corduroys. When these were last washed, when I come to iron them, what I noticed was there's quite a big hole in the bottom. Um, so I don't know how this has happened but that was on the back of the bottom of one of my legs. So what I've decided to do I've actually cut the bulk off so that is the whole damaged section off and I've cut the seam off the opposite leg and I fancy jazzing them up a bit because they're probably going to be three quarters now but I've been looking through my ribbons and my lace and I've actually got this um, which I bought it was on a roll and I bought it in a charity shop uh, probably two or three years ago and I have used this on a top in the past so what I've decided to do is I'm going to put this on the hem of the trousers now what I've done, I've already done the first leg and I've worked out um, the length there of when I'm going to be double turning it up and then when it's actually done, what you'll have is, you'll have this finish on the bottom of it but that will be sandwiched in between the hem. So um, I've done one leg, so I'm going to pin the opposite leg now and then just again sandwich this in between it. So. Let's get the second leg done. So I'm simply going to turn that. So I'm turning, so it's turned inside out the trousers and I'm actually turning. So the right side of the fabric, I'm turning the wrong side over and I'm starting as always on the inside. So that's the inside seam, this seam here. So you always want to have your join on the inside seam and I'm going to literally Work out, if you're going to do something like this, just work out what you want your hem to be. And then what I'm going to do is I've literally placed that. And then I'm going to fold that over. But at this point, I'm going to just measure it with this leg and get it to the same turnover. So that's that's exactly the same and then i'm just going to follow that all the way around so where that is is this i've got sandwiched right up to the end there where i'm going to be stitching that in place so let me just pin that in place now this is a job that uh, will require pinning because anybody that watches my sewing videos knows i'm not a fan of pins i mean i could use clips i suppose but i am actually using these and I'm just from what I've got there I'm literally going to work the same all the way across um, and obviously if you I mean I've worked like I said I've been sewing donkey's years that um, I'm confident in that when I'm following it I've got the same measurement all the way across but if you're not and you're new to it sewing then just get your tape measure out get your tape measure out and just measure it as you go along So pin that one down. Okay, so you're making sure all of, as you're turning that over that your your, um, your trim is right up to the edge. So when it's finished, it's basically just hanging down from your hem and you've not got this, um, the ugly bit showing. Now I did actually try some tassel. <laughs> Some tassel because I've got two lots of beautiful tassel that I cut off tops and um, a shawl. But the one thing with a tassel to bear in mind, if they're a loop tassel and you're walking, your opposite heel could get caught in that tassel, and that's a recipe for a disaster. So they're both pinned. Right, so let me just cut that off there. Oh, 
Right, so let's go to the machine and we'll get that stitched in place. edging that I'm putting on is actually at the end. inside seam okay so that's like that so what I'm going to do here I'm going to fold it over once and then I'm going to fold it over again okay and then I'm just going to put this back under the machine and it's rather thick there because obviously I've got that extra thickness what I'm going to be doing here is underneath with my thumb, I'm going to be pushing the fabric but making sure that's turned under. Now, let me just take a bit of pressure off that with my foot. I apologise if the camera's rocking a bit, but I'm trying a new position for filming for you today so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Pulling it here. Okay. the exact same on the opposite leg and then I'm going to go and try them on and see how they look so this is the finished hem guys you can just see there that's the right side of the corduroys 
and then as you can see there the uh, trim is sandwiched between the hem so it's just nice neat and tidy and you can put lace in between that as well or trims or just have a normal hem so this guys is the finished result so i've got like a three quarter length trouser now uh, with a bit of a fancy hem on uh, the trousers were flared so they are a bit bell bottom but i really don't mind them um so that instead of throwing the trousers away i've got a different uh, length with a different hem so guys i hope you've enjoyed this little repair job um it certainly turned out um quite well in the end uh i did get my bag of knickknacks out and played about with some laces and trims and decided on this one that i've put on so it's an option that if you have like i said you do get uh damage to your trousers that if it's on the bottom you can certainly make them three quarters you don't even have to put a trim on or jazz them up you can just make them three quarters and if you've got a uh, damage um like even higher up on your trouser you've got the option to make them into short so you don't necessarily have to um bend them if, if damage just happens there are options for you to repair them so um thanks for joining me guys um take care for now and see you soon bye for now